Hey everyone, welcome back to another Exos Heroes video. So today's video, we are going to go in depth in the current or the new director's note. I apologize, guys. I didn't see the director's note posted on Facebook two days ago. I actually was completely unaware that it was out. I was also busy during that day that I really missed this director's note. By the way, I'm here already. So it's going to be a new story, new fate, Red Fate Core update. And as usual, this is going to be brought to us by Young Zon Choi, the director of EXO's Heroes. So again, the director's note is going to be a work in progress. So from the director's note, we'll be updating you about the third story of Season 4, Red Fate Core and content improvement. So let's see what they have because... I, I really want this director's note to be more frequent than being sparingly because again we are in between sometimes we are in between summons and updates that there is a very long lull in terms of if uh, if exos doesn't want to put out fixed content it, it just wants to put out like for example um, content uh, for a few weeks then it disappears like the memorial saga i thought that the memorial saga is going to be more of a fixed content so that people could you know could just enjoy it when they you know want to go through the game but apparently it's not so it's seasonal it it has a time limit but again let's move on to this one so new story chapter 21 golden castle update so zion and others are headed to wonderland hmm sounds familiar like a song your buddy is a wonderland <laughs> just joking anyway um so we have here um a new nation that's going to be wonderland obviously they're they're they're, they're journeying there for chapter 21 so the theme for wonderland for me is i think fun because first and foremost when i see their logo it's like a circus theme and actually i've seen a preview of the 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 the, the character designs and it's really a circus theme okay hopefully a theme park probably okay so along the chapter 121 update previously previous story difficulty has been lowered of course 20 a uh, chapter 20 difficulty lowered chapter 20 combat power lowered as well so again here are the new heroes for wonderland these have been teased before i think only the nation right now was just revealed so new heroes rhinor Kruger and Hinder. Cool names, actually. Cool names. So the powerful heroes of Wonderland who take over the who take over the back world of Pedas will be joining us as the new heroes. Please look forward to the new heroes as they take over the dream, hope, and nightmare. Okay, so I think the leader here would be the one in the middle, Kruger. That's just assuming he's the leader. He's in the middle, actually. Unless um, this is going to be Rhinor or Hinder. I'm not sure. So we'll have to figure out who their names are. They're not really under their um, their feet. So again, I'm assuming this big, you know, this big guy in the middle is going to be their leader. Okay, so along with the appearance of the new heroes, again, before I forget, going back to going back to the character design, I think. This guy in the right here is just out of place. The one in the middle and the girl on, on the left is actually at par with the theme of Wonderland. It's, again, it looks like a Christmas, uh, sorry, not a Christmas, circus theme. So as you can see here, the hand, the gauntlet that he has, it's, it's like the Infinity Gauntlet on steroids. So again great design i like the design of this guy um the arms the armor on his hands um again on point this guy needs a rework right now because again he doesn't fit in this team but again who knows in the future anyway along with the appearance of the new heroes again the chance of recruit event will begin so however we have taken your opinions to consider it's more difficult to obtain the new heroes are being included in the recruit we are preparing a slightly modified chance up recruit hmm. what could this be from that point 
from this chance up, Rhinor, Kruger, and Hinder will, will be applied in this order and will open after each week. So, as you can see here, it's going to be Rhinor, but I'm not sure who's, who Rhinor is out of the three. She, yeah, all right, Rhinor is going to be the gold fate core, I presume. So, the probably the probability of each chance up recruit and the obtaining conditions for my hero mileage reward are as shown below. So, they are going to increase the third person's chance up to 1%. Before, both Black Fate cores were at 7 or 0.7%. And the mileage again has been lowered, which is kind of makes sense because, again, sometimes these heroes, even if they're Black Fate cores, they're, they can't be useful enough. Sometimes their mileage has to be lowered. And I thank you guys because, again, um, these improvements will help our new players with the game. It will help them um, actually, you know, try to more or less fill up their roster. So very good with this decision. So, okay, Fate Core Chance Up Recruit, change of schedule. So currently there are three types of Fate Core grades, gold, blue, and black. They have chances up through the fate core chance up recruit however out of the three we are putting a lot of effort in making gold grade fate core and many users are relative showing more interest and support towards gold fate cores because again gold fakers have a very big difference in terms of power creep so the 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 power and the kit it has a very big difference that black fate cores are not really that used that much we usually prefer gold fate cores because of of how powerful usually they put out gold fate cores especially for for generals so for this we have decided to expand the gold fate core chance up period and increase more chances for you to obtain the gold fate core which is actually correct and um sometimes the rotation for gold fate cores are actually slow once once it was initially released, the re-release of the banner sometimes take time to fill up the cycle. So if they could cycle that, you know, that gold fate core banner again after its release quickly, so it would give um, new players a chance to get those heroes if they choose to. So after this update, gold fate core chance up recruits will be on for around three weeks, which is good, and blue and black fate cores will be. For one week same as before okay so basically they're extending the period for the banner that's just it because again um it requires a lot of zest and sometimes players again save their zest before they could you know before they could summon so again this is actually very good this applies hopefully to the next gold banner in which i don't have much zest anymore so again this is a very good way for exos to you know entice new players to to stay more in the game to you know i'm actually the game right now to be honest guys is for the for new players um most of the um what they call this most, most of the veterans um don't have more content to play with unlike the beginners where they still are starting and they have a lot of content to play with but again i do hope i do still do hope that exos would you know would try to try to support their their uh, their veteran player base in terms of fixed content fixed i i, I tell you fixed because again here memora saga should have been a fixed content and should have remained in the game um but, you know because again it's going to be boring for the veterans who don't have enough content to play with okay so that's beside my point so next would be story exploration experience point distribution method improvement the way that the story the the way for the heroes to obtain experience points through story and exploration will be improved which is better so that you could enhance, you know, you could, um, could uh, uh, hasten um, level ups. For now, the heroes that reach the maximum level will not be obtaining experience points from the store exploration. The experience points of the maximum level doesn't receive and will be equally distributed to the other heroes, which actually makes sense because sometimes you're just trying to level up just one player and, you know, 
if it's going to be divided by five, but four are not leveling up, it doesn't make sense. So this is a good, good quality of life improvement. So I like this. Director's intention. Um, yeah, I understand the director's intention already. Story reduction to improve the new users with their growth and playing speed. We have combined and got rid of the portion of some episodes from chapter 1 to 6. For those who are very clear the stories, they, they, they will not have any chance changes made in their clear records. The star conditions for the chapter rewards will be partially lowered due to the deleted episodes. Even if the star conditions are changed, they already obtained the chapter rewards and not cannot be obtained again. So combined episodes, if combat power difficulty will be lowered due to story reduction. We have prepared this so that it easily uh, be more absorbed into XO zeros. Okay, no comment on that, on the story. Okay, so get the red. This is actually what I've been waiting for because I'd like to change how Junai looks. So mission update. We have prepared a special event, get the red, where you could obtain a red fate core. Get the red mission is a limited period where you clear missions and obtain many rewards as well as red fate core as a final reward the missions are cons consist of daily missions weekly and season missions as well so the daily mission clear records are renewed every day and they can be retired the, the weekly mission clear records are renewed every monday and they can also be retired I'm, I'm not sure what they mean by retired the season missions can only be cleared once you get the red uh, mission event period so in the get mission in the get red in the get in the get the red mission first <laughs> i won't bother okay so the first one is going to be white flower of healing Jinai. so again for red fight cores they're just going to be aesthetics there's not going to be any skill you know skill changes or ability changes but again this is going to be a great skin for Jinai. i'm looking forward to this Okay, so along with the new appearance of the Get Red mission, the monthly season mission that we had for the past year will be ending. Oh, I was actually... <laughs> they might be transferring the rewards. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but this was actually one of the best monthly season missions that I've seen That is that has ton of rewards. And it's actually for all even for free to play players so i hope that re by removing this they're going to you know give it to the other the the get the red event for the monthly mission we apologize for positioning of the content and thank everyone who had waited for it to finally come it's that long man it's that long so please show many interest and support towards the collect worthy of red fate core okay an in-up advertisement reward update. So this, okay, just, I don't want to read this. This is more or less um, happens to a lot of um, gacha games, especially you, you, the the game shows you ads. When you click and see the ads, they're going to give you rewards. Again, this is good, uh, very good, especially for for new players to be able to again catch up with their account. But the rewards hopefully should be should be static it doesn't have to change like arcane stone gold zest preferably zest i hope they could just make it zest all the way rather than have it you know at a random again um i know i know it's it's sometimes a bother to, uh, watching the ads but the question is you have to make it worthwhile for people to watch ads that's my point so again you have to make make it more enticing for them to watch the ads to get reward so that that's my take on it okay so infinity core improvement the first improvement update for after the official opening of infinity core is planned to proceed from this big improvement update we have a lot of efforts improving the stage selection and stage info team information convenience so number one is integrate the challenge stages for each dungeon and add each selection so add select stage selection function although you can challenge a high stage in the dungeon we have noticed that there are some inconvenience in 
having to start from stage one every time a new dungeon is added. Okay, so basically, I think you may select the higher stages already instead of starting from 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 the lower difficulty. For this, we have integrated the challenge stages for each dungeon, made it so that you can start challenging from the highest that you have cleared in all dungeons. Okay, so okay. Okay, infinity buff target mark. So we have found it that it is difficult to find out the infinity buff targets when forming a team, which is actually correct because again, sometimes I don't really bother um, selecting the inf the buffs. I just you know uh, auto select and just have have the have the AI play it. So again, this is this would be better so that it's easier to find who or which heroes provide you the buffs which is actually very good so thank you exos heroes improved dungeon selection screen for you to make use of the infinity buff it to its extent all dungeons from the week will be shown in the dungeon selection screen more moreover in each dungeon it will be marked with the cleared stage not the stage that you're clearly challenging in the dungeon selection screen you can now check whether you have cleared the dungeon which is actually pretty much very nice Okay, add added dungeon quick battle function. We have will be adding a quick battle function where you can make a clear record without having to battle if necessary. You already have uh, okay, select the clear record that you would like to quickly go through in the quick battle pop up according to used here. Of however, you can only register a clear record for the one you can use all heroes. Okay, so <laughs> I won't go through all that, guys. So the best two years. So tag improve match improvement. We have checked the situation where it was somewhat unfair for users in cases of the best two year tag match battle round system. For this, we have added a the best two year continue tag match function and a give up function. Okay, the continue function if the game crashes. The yes, this is actually very good. A continue. This is actually very good because again, sometimes you get dropped and you it's automatic um, loss for you. You touched the confirm button and enter the tag match you were in the middle again. The battle round that you were in were will set as defeated, but you will continue from the next round. Okay, if that game crashes during the tag match screen screen location, you will be able to continue from the tag location screen. Okay, still it's still a defeat. But it will continue from the next round. Okay, I don't understand that as of now, but we'll check that out as it drops. Touch the cancel button and tag match where in the middle. defeated. You're already lost to but continue up here. That appear. Okay. Give up function is just simple uh, so that you could give up if just in case you don't want to continue with battle. Uh, director's intentions have been sent. Added maximum of three battle rounds. Many of sent in options about the situation where we ended up being defeated when you leave during the game and give a function where you can give up one round of battle prove your skills through a fair competition and improve the best to your tag match and go to the higher rank so again what i like about the best to because it forces forces the community to expand their roster not just to one nation but probably to other nations so again if the game is going to be stable, if the matches, the pairing is going to be stable, I think a lot of people will be playing this. But right now, sometimes you can't even go in. Um, so this really needs a change, okay? So Air Squadron Invite Function Update. So a new Air Squadron Invite Function where you can help recruit members and manage registration will be added, which has been a long time um, been a request. So Signature Force, a new alliance nation, Wonderland, will be added to the Signature Link. Up to the stages, uh, three's fourth enhancement of Wonderland Signature Link will be open. Moreover, Saint West Signature Link will be open on stage three, fourth enhancement. Okay, so your exchanges added new items, uh, preparing 30 different rank one fated items. Okay, my opinion on war uh, warm, w Yorm's <laughs> exchanges is that once you reach a level wherein you're not using those gear anymore like for example um it's good now that they added rank one but before 
when you're already at that level, you don't really mind this. You know, it's it's useless for you, but it's good that they've added rank one weapons already because at least you can purchase rank one weapons from the arms exchange. Convenience improvement, exclusive weapon thumbnail, and tooltip improvement. So this is going to be um, it right now. Um, after uh, once the update is so. Um, once exclusive weapon is going to be given to you, it's going to have a background uh, same to the what they call the same to the fate core that is linked to. So if it's an orange, if it's a black, if it's a blue, if it's a gold. So again, the weapon is going to have the same background as the fate core. So that's just it. Okay, so fate core repeat enhancement improvement. Okay, so this is going to be yes. Uh, just this is just enhancement, so would be improved and easier to use, which is better because I don't like to go back and forth with enhancements for fate cores. Challenge content, quick battle improvement. There's an improvement, so to fix such hassle, the meet battle function will be added to the quick battle pop up. Okay. So closing comments, guys, let's hear from our directors. First of all, thank you everyone who has shown so much love and support towards Memorial Saga, which has disappeared. Our first episode of Memorial Saga with, with the story of Ramji and Rachel's youth was a content we have prepared for a long time. Well, it should have ensured that this have stayed in the game for a long time. And we were all very excited and worried at the same time to see how will react to the content to make up for all your love and support we are in the process of making the next memorial saga stories hopefully rachel's will be available still because i haven't finished playing it and it it, it went out extra series has gone through many different happenings throughout the past two years only one year for global we have been striving to come up with many different interesting content and have not been seen that have not been seen in other games okay my question, my reaction to this is, what is what you're coming up with um, the, in, in the liking of your community? Does the community like what you're coming out uh, of or what you're creating? Does the community have a say in what you're creating and what we want? So again, I know you guys have been working hard for this, but again, please listen to your community because we are here to support you. I have been here to support the game ever since it started. So again, I won't give up on this game. This game has still has very much a you know a high ceiling of potential. But again, I hope that it's not going to be potential. But I hope that they will eventually live up to what they're supposed to do. Okay. So guys, I know this has been a lengthy video. I hope you are still here. If you're still here, please consider subscribing. Please click that bell icon and also put a like to this video. Thank you guys for staying. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.